How's it going, everybody? In this video, we're going to be talking about the Duncan v. Becerra case, also known as the California Magazine Band case or the Freedom Week case. I'm going to be answering some of the most common questions that I've been getting recently in regards to Duncan v. Becerra, as well as answering a lot of the misconceptions that are going on surrounding Duncan v. Becerra. So let's talk about this. But real quick before we jump in this video, if you think that California's magazine ban violates the Second Amendment, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Also, I'm gonna give a shout out to one of the main sponsors of the channel, that being Thorson Customs. Thorson Customs does a lot to support us here on this channel and also help support California gun owners. They have California compliant parts and features that you can purchase from them for your AR-15 uh, rifle build. So if you'd be interested in taking a look at them, I'll put a link to them down in the details section. So Duncan v. Becerra, this is a case that I get asked about probably every single day. And I'm talking about multiple times a day. And a lot of people have tons of questions about what's currently going on with this case, as well as a lot of people have have a lot of misconceptions and questions that they pretty much are confused about about what this case actually has done where the law currently stands in california in regards to magazines and magazine capacity so in this video i'm going to address mainly those common questions mainly being what's going on with this case as well as answering a lot of those misconception questions as well duncan v becerra is a challenge to california's magazine capacity laws in the state of california individuals cannot have magazines that hold more than 10 rounds a magazine that holds more than 10 rounds is perceived to be a large capacity magazine. That's not my definition, that is a legal definition. California defines any magazine that holds more than 10 rounds as a large capacity magazine. So this case is challenging that California law. This case was originally brought in the Southern District of California before Judge Benitez, who became known as St. Benitez after this decision. Around last March of 2019, Judge Benitez actually issued his ruling on this and actually granted summary judgment in favor of those people who were challenging California's magazine laws. And in quick summary, what he found was that California's magazine law was indeed unconstitutional and that it violated our Second Amendment rights here in the state of California. Well, the state of California, of course, didn't like that. So they sought a stay from Judge Benitez and Judge Benitez did actually grant that stay and he put a time period on it being a week. And so this is what led to Freedom Week. So for a single week, individuals in California were able to go out and purchase magazines that held more than 10 rounds. And this led to the onslaught of millions of magazines being purchased and being brought into California. And now millions and millions of magazines being owned by law abiding individuals in the state of California. Well, after the stay was granted by Judge Benitez, of course, the state of California then sought an appeal up to the Ninth Circuit and were challenging Judge Benitez's uh, ruling. And so this was appealed up into the Ninth Circuit and oral arguments were heard by a three judge panel. And this was held, I think, around April of 2020. And then in August of 2020, the three judge panel actually issued their order and their ruling. And what they found is they agreed with Judge Benitez that this law here in the state of California did indeed infringe on our Second Amendment rights and was unconstitutional. And soon after that, what happened is a lot of people were reporting and I had a report that was coming out contrary to that. A lot of people were reporting and there was news articles, videos, um, companies were putting up articles saying that, okay, people in the state of California can now go and purchase magazines that hold more than 10 rounds. And this is kind of where the first main misconception and question that I get asked a lot um, comes from. A lot of people are confused about this time period because they were hearing individuals saying, okay, the Ninth Circuit found that this was unconstitutional. They were hearing from manufacturers and other individuals that it was found unconstitutional and that they could go out and purchase magazines. Why is it now though that when they try to order something online from a manufacturer, are they not being able to be sent those magazines? Uh, a lot of these manufacturers have now actually indicated that they cannot ship these types of magazines to California residents. And that is because there was a lot of misconceptions and confusions about what exactly the three judge panel's decision did. And so although the three judge panel found that the law here in the state of California in regards to magazine capacity was unconstitutional, they did not actually lift the stay because what happened is the uh, state of California, again, decided that they were going to seek an en banc uh, petition. They petitioned for an en banc review in this case, which means that it's going to go from the three judge panel review up to an en banc panel review in the Ninth Circuit. So this case is continuing on in the Ninth Circuit. And since the stay of Judge Benitez was never lifted by the three judge panel, the law is still in effect here in the state of California. So that is why now manufacturers will not ship magazines to you that hold more than 10 rounds. That's why gun stores will not actually sell them to you unless you're a law enforcement officer or some sort of exempt individual. That is why that law is in place. So a lot of people had a lot of confusion coming out of that three judge panel ruling, thinking that, hey, now we can go out and purchase magazines. And I still get this statement to me uh, quite a bit. A lot of people say, well, the three judge panel 
and the Ninth Circuit said it was unconstitutional. You can go and purchase magazines with more than 10 rounds. And that is just not the way that the state of California is operating right now. In fact, the Department of Justice actually issued a letter saying that they still consider the state to be in effect and that they are still enforcing the law that you cannot have large capacity magazines or magazines that hold more than 10 rounds. So again, this is a huge misconception and something that I get asked or stated to me quite a bit, people saying that this law has been lifted, that it's been found unconstitutional and you can go out and purchase these types of magazines. And currently now in the state of California, that is not correct. The law is still in effect. And right now the uh, case is still proceeding on to an en banc panel review. And, and so this leads us to the next main question that I get asked quite a bit. And that has to do with what's going on with this case right now. It appears that this case is in limbo. Um, we saw that there was an en banc petition that was requested by the state of California and the petition was requested August 28th of 2020, and we have still heard nothing about whether or not the uh, Ninth Circuit is going to take this up on bonk or not. Now, I've talked about this quite a bit on this channel, and you actually you can click this video right here. My most recent, recent video where I actually talked about this, I stated that there are things that are clearly going on behind the scenes that are pointing towards this is moving towards an en banc panel review. Mainly being that amicus briefs are being submitted and the court, uh, the three-judge panel is granting amicus briefs. Now, for those of you who ask me, okay, when is this going to happen? Your guess is as good as mine. These things get dragged on quite a bit. These cases can take up to years, two years, three years to uh, process through. Right now, there could be even more lag because of the presidential stuff that's going on right now. The courts could be waiting for um, some more clarity about what the actual presidential situation is going to look like. They could just be simply waiting until after Joe Biden takes the presidency. Um, there could be a lot of things that are going on. But right now, as far as Duncan v. Becerra, where are we at with this? It appears that this is moving on to en banc panel review. We haven't gotten anything firmly stating that yet but all things kind of signal to that's where this is going. And one of the last main misconceptions that I just wanted to address here in this video is a lot of people who bring up to me and state to me quite a bit in comment sections and DMs and stuff saying that, well, the Supreme Court found that California's magazine laws are unconstitutional. Um, I think this just comes purely based on people not understanding actually where this case is currently at. This case is currently before the Ninth Circuit. It has not made its way up to the Supreme Court yet. Now. This is a case that potentially could make its way up to the Supreme Court, and I would hope that maybe this case would make its way up to the Supreme Court because I think this is a very critical issue that needs to be addressed by the Supreme Court. But as of right now, no, the Supreme Court has never ruled on this issue, on this case. Right now, this is before a Ninth Circuit, and we are actually waiting to see whether or not the Ninth Circuit is going to take this up on bonk. So that's kind of the current procedure of where this case is at. This is not before the Supreme Court. So I hope that helped to clarify a lot of questions and misconceptions that are going on around Duncan v. Becerra. Like I said, these are things that get brought up to me almost every single day. These are questions that get asked to me almost every single day. And I think this is a good reference point for people to understand currently right now where this case is at, as well as answering some of those main questions that get brought up quite a bit on this issue of Duncan v. Becerra. So if you guys have any additional questions, go Go ahead and comment down below and I'll try to answer the best of my ability. Also, if you like this video and like support the channel, one of the best ways you can do that is like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification bell because that helps the channel analytics, helps us spread the word about the Second Amendment, also helps spread the word about things like this that are going on in the state of California. So as always, thanks you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and never forget this nation was built by armed scholars, this nation will be maintained by armed scholars.